okay welcome back guys uh, this is the part 2 video for uh, chapter 1 lesson 1 place value of grade 4 book macro hill okay uh, we are moving to the next questions now the first one uh, the 6 is in the dash place so where is 6 here here is 6 so 6 is at ten thousands place the dash is in the thousands place what is the thousands place they just said thousand it means the first one one thousand they didn't say ten thousand or hundred thousand like here they just said thousand it means this one one thousand okay so this two the seven has a value of seven times here why we write 10 the place value of 7 is 10 so if the place value of 7 is 100 if 7 is here we write 100 here got it so the place value of 7 is 10 so 7 times 10 okay the 6 has a value of 6 times now see guys here its place value is what? 10,000. So we write it 10,000. 6 times 10,000. Okay. The dash has a value of dash times 100,000. This is 100,000. 1 stands 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. So what is the number at 100,000? Here it is 4. So 4 has a value of 4 times 100,000. The dash is in the hundreds place. What is the hundred place here guys? 1 stands 100. So 3. So here is 3. Okay. The 1 is in the dash place. Where is the 1 in our table? Here is the 1. It is at the 1's place. Okay. Now, question number 15. The digit in the 100,000 place has 10 times the value it would have if it was in the dash place. So, it means the place towards its right so as I told you on the last page if we are moving this 10 is 10 times greater than once if we are moving towards the left each time we are multiplying it by 10s or you can say we are making it 10 times greater got it guys so 100,000 it is 10 times greater than 10,000 so here it is 10,000 the digit in the thousand place has dash times the value it would have if it was in the hundred place so this digit is how many times greater than this one 10 times got it guys so here it is 10 times let us move to the next page page number 14 here it is an African elephant can weigh up to what is this number guys pause this video and try to read it you guys practice a lot now okay. I hope you guys read it correctly once tens hundred thousand ten thousand so the first number before the comma you read it separately 14 and what is the name of the period thousands so 14 thousand then you read the next number completely 432 got it so what is the place of the highlighted digit count it from here once tens hundred thousand and ten thousand here it is ten thousand okay here we have to find out the numbers guys. This number we have to find out. How? From these guidelines. The greatest place value is 100,000. This is the greatest one. Okay. 
the digit in the tens place is 5. Where is the tens place? Here is the tens place. We put 5. The remaining digits are 2, 3, 8, 7. Now we have to find out where to place these remaining digits. One of the digits has a value of what is this value guys? Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and ten thousand. How many tens thousands? Three ten thousand it means thirty thousand. So it is ten thousand. So here it is three. One of the digit has a value of eight hundred. So at the hundred place, it's eight. And the value of the digit in the thousand place is 10 times greater so if we move here 10 times greater so we move the 8 in thousand place also there are two more ones than tens how many tens five two more for two five plus two two more of five seven so two more ones than tens two more in ones then tens it was five we add two it becomes seven so this is the distance from earth to moon two hundred and thirty eight thousand eight hundred and fifty seven miles got it guys okay here what are the greatest and the least six digit numbers these are six digits okay that have a nine in the hundred place okay we place nine in the hundred place and three fewer means minus three so it is six right in the hundred thousand place so we put six in hundred thousand place got it guys okay so they are saying if we put nine in the hundred place and six in the hundred thousand place which one is the greatest number and which one is the least number so if we fill the remaining number with the smallest number which is zero so that is the least one and if we fill the remaining places with the greatest number that is nine so this is the greatest one okay how does moving the place of a digit change its value just I told you guys each time we are moving towards left we are uh, moving 10 times greater so give an example and explain so here is an example and the explanation I hope you guys understand the lesson and don't forget to finish your homework page number 15 and 16 and send me your homework if you guys have your pioneers account you can send me your homeworks through pioneer or uh, otherwise else you can send me on my email I will write my email in the description. Any question, you can comment about it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Thank you so much.